Hello and welcome to the first of a series of videos surrounding ECL's join function. Join produces a dataset by determining the intersection of two or more related datasets. In this video, I'll demonstrate a couple of the more common join types. Now, as an example, I've defined datasets of people and places. The people dataset includes a reference to the place dataset, and that reference is going to serve as the basis for our comparisons. First, we'll define a join that determines which of the people live in houses making use of the most common join type of all, the inner join. In fact, the inner join is common enough that we've made it the default, so it doesn't have to be specified explicitly if you don't want to. Now, the first two arguments to the join function specify input data sets. The first will be referred to as the left data set. The second is the right data set. The third argument specifies the join condition, which is a Boolean expression defining the relationship between the two data sets and any other conditions you might want to use to limit the results. Here we look for a match between the place ID field of the left data set and the ID field of the right data set. We also restrict our results only to houses. Now while that's running, let's try to predict what's going to happen. John and Mary live in place number one which we can see is listed as a house. Rich lives in place number two, which is listed as an apartment. Now Pete, you know, we just don't know where Pete lives, so I would expect this first join to show results for just John and Mary. Now as we examine the results, we can see that's exactly what's being returned, records for John and Mary combined with the corresponding place record. The first three columns came from the left data set, and the remaining uh, fields came from the right data set. So let's go back to the builder window and we'll loosen this up a little bit. Let's look at the combined data set regardless of where people live. Now I've made a copy of the first join but I removed the house restriction. Now as we run this and look at the results we're going to see Rich the apartment dweller. Here he is. Now that much is good but Where's Pete? Let's go back to the builder window. Now, an inner join produces results only for those records that exist in both the left and the right data set. Therefore, an inner join will exclude Pete from the results. Let's make this a left outer join. And this will return at least one record for every record in the left data set. And there he is. We see combined records for everyone who had a record on the right, and for Pete, the fields that would have come from the right side are just initialized with null values. So those are the basics of using join to combine data sets. For more information, please see the ECL language reference, which includes examples for five more join types and even a separate form of join capable of processing more than two data sets at a time. Thank you.